hey everybody, you better have a big dose of patience. You're going to take on brimstone and better mode because better mode is the toughest brimstone ever. As it is, you have a 20% success rate. Now, starting out the game, I think the riot shield is your best friend. Two guys should have a riot shield, two should have RPGs. Why the RPGs? One RPG shot kills the juggernaut. This game is loaded with juggernauts. Now, what I'm doing, I'm dropping Joker missiles on the uh, tanks for the first server. As you see, they're loading up quick. That riot shield, they get next to it, and they pop the shield up, and the bots can't kill them. Now, in better mode, you're being shot at from 360 degrees, and it is brutal. You've got to be on your toes to get it. So right now, I'm just goofing off and waiting. I'm waiting for them to get to the third server. Then I join them. Now, when the game started, I yelled out in the mic, guys, go to weapons, scroll down to munitions, get your sensory guns and juggernauts and everything else. You're going to need it for the final battle at the Xville trailer. So these guys, little did I know, nobody answered back, there, but they're hearing me when I'm talking to them in the mic. But when I found out, they did get the stuff, and it's going to be an epic final battle. So now it's time to get in and join them. They're moving over to the left, more is in their third server. Here comes the three symbols. They got to get the keys from the juggernauts. So I'm going to come in. I'm in no hurry because there's a whole lot of game left. So by me hanging back and those three getting shot down, we did not lose or we didn't have to start all over at the first server. It saved us a lot of annoyance because after the first three servers, there's a, there's a lot of fighting left. Now here's where we start using the strategy. I'm pretty much trying, I'm ignoring, I'm trying to ignore these bots. I'm not, the objective is not to fight them. They'll fight you in any part of the map. So you're not solving anything. And I'm kind of hoping I'll get shot down because I can parachute faster than I can run. Me trying to fight through these bots is taking forever. So down I go and I'm going good, but my teammate revives me. I wish he would have saved it, but that's okay. Now you have a, a quick bleed out, maybe five seconds. So it's veteran mode. You can see the modifications when you do it, the modifiers. So it's pretty hefty. There's no munitions. You're going to bring your munitions or pick up the enemy guns. Now here in this dip, you must jump down or you'll go out of bounds. It's got an explosive. You can pick up the grenades. I don't care about their grenades. So basically, I take my wrong turn machine gun, LMG, with 200 round magazine, and I've got 600 rounds. It's a good start. Now, as you see, I'm in the map now. I'm with them. And right here past this uh, conveyor belt, the big silo, you're going to get to the juggernauts. Now, I'm going to warn you guys now, we failed this game a lot, but if you all hit retry, the game continues. So it's the same team this entire film. See the one shot in the jug, down he goes. Didn't have to be a headshot. All right, that's two or three keys. The other one will be in the building where the control panel is that you call the train back. Now here's where I make a mistake. Watch what I do. There's the building. As you see, a teammate on the left is down. They're all going down. I go to the right. That door to the right is full of box. You want to go to the left into the building. Now they're all down, and I'm in the middle of a battle. So now we go, but watch this. Everybody hits retry, and the game continues right there where you left off. It doesn't kick you back like it used to when you would play special ops. So now I'm, right, I'm letting the game load, and you can also pick your loadout. You can change the weapons, it's pretty cool. So finally, Activision's being nice to us. Now, we start in the third server room, the building here. This is the battle where you gotta kill all these bots to get to the control room again. Don't even try to do it. How we beat this, we must have tried five or six times. How we beat this, a guy got killed and he parachuted on the other side of him. Strategy, see here we go, we're going down again. But watch the same team. We're gonna hit retry. And we're gonna resume the mission. 
I can't see a team finishing this whole mission without being shot down at least once. So that's the reason I held back at the first of the game, just to get it progressing. Because as it is, we're gonna we're gonna be dying five times. Now watch the C4 it kills itself. So again, it wasn't frustrating yet because we were, I was saying on the mic to the guys, we're progressing the mission. It's changed. Now this is better mode. So I'm coming in on the building next to the jug. It has progressed. Notice when I respawn, it's progressed. Now I'm gonna come down behind him. I'm starting to shoot him now. Now I went back to RPG. One shot. Down it goes. I pop off another shot at the other jug, but I shouldn't have done that. That's a waste of a rocket. I'm gonna turn around, get the key, he's got it. The reason you want got one guy to get all the keys or most of the keys is because if everybody gets the keys, somebody's gonna forget. And I've seen it happen. And the game ends. Now this is before the modified veteran. In this mode, it may not end. I wasn't gonna chance it. All right, here I'm gonna get this spot. Excuse me, this juggernaut. That was my teammate right next to him. I'm saying to Mike, come back and get the server key. Now this is Riot Shield. He was doing all the servers. Here he comes. All right, we got it. Now it's time to get to the control room, call a train. I'm getting a lot of heat here, so I'm gonna turn around and try to get under some cover. Because you have a five second bleed out, you don't have 20, 30 seconds. All right, so I healed up. Working my way back to the control room. Now, remember what I said about going in the right hand side door? You're going to swerve all the bots. I'm going to go on the left side door this time. Here comes one. And here we are. It just the, the, not the uh, juggernaut's down. He's down, but it's full of bots. Now, I'm not going to fight the bots. You know where I'm going to go. I'm gonna get the server key, the controller key. All right, that's all three keys. We got all three keys, it's time to get to the uh, control room and call that train. That one guy had two, I got three. So the train's being called. I'm getting in position. Get over here to the left. It's gonna pull right here in this track. My teammates up there on the uh, final call button. I saw a symbol upstairs. I don't know sure what it was, but I always go right here. And every time I have 100% killed, I get killed 100%. But I'm gonna pop this door. Now this is my first Modified veteran win in Brimstone. This game is a beast. So if you think you're really a good player, come on and play it. Try it with an open lobby team like this one. But teams of friends should have a much easier time. Every time I hit that square button, it loads my magazine. Yanks my do not. All right, so here we go. There's the second one. Now watch. Every time I come out of that train, I get killed. Doesn't matter. Because this time, when I spawn, I'm going to spawn to the Xville. When I respawn, I'm gonna parachute down to the exfil trailer. Now I'm spectating here. Here's the last guy alive. Three of us are down. He's there. He made it. Watch what he changes into a juggernaut. But he better get inside that trailer. And there he goes. Now it looks to me like we're winning this game. So I'm itching to come back. Here I am parachuting in. There's a symbol to the right. All the other yellow symbols you'll see moving around are high helicopters, dropping troops in to kill you. Now watch this. I go right over these two bots, right in the doorway. Now I'm not, I'm not trying to kill them. I want to put a sensor gun up, right in the front porch. And there it is. So we got one jug, one sensor gun.
looking good. I have another, he tried, I guess he just put up his second sensor gun and got shot down. So I got him. Remember my, at the beginning of the game, I said the guys in the mic load up for the final battle, and they did. Now we got two juggernauts, the guy's laying on the floor, he's got a helicopter gunship up over heads. And I'm out here in the front porch going, holy moly, look at this mess. I can stand out here and not even be shot. That's the first. I still can't believe it. Looking out the windows. I mean, everything is getting killed. So we're waiting for the final drop, for the exfil drop. There's the helicopter gunship. I'm keeping my second sentry gun in reserve. So much for the final battle. We held these guys off like nothing. There's a C-130. Here comes our drop. I'm going to come down. Here's a tip. Look to the of uh, the base you're standing on to hook up. Don't look at the cylinder. So I'm on. They see me on, the two juggernauts. He's on, and we did it. I am more amazed than I was relieved. That was an awesome epic battle. So that's how you do it, guys. And we're out of here until the next ball game, and we'd blow the place up. That's better in mode, the toughest of the toughest. So I did it, you can do it too. See you next time, man.